Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. In today's video, we'll be looking at uh, information gathering in uh, Kali Linux. In particular, we'll be looking at DNS analysis or DNS in, uh, enumeration. Just to give a, a, a simple explanation of what uh, DNS is or domain name system. This is a system that's used to translate domain names such as Amazon.com to actual IP addresses. Uh, for instance, uh, 172.0.0.1. Uh, the reason why is because on the internet devices that do routing, like routers, they can only communicate using IP addresses. So when a client is communicating to a server, let's say your computer, when you type in your the domain name, this has to be translated or it has to be resolved to an IP addresses in order for the two to communicate the client and the server. They use IP addresses and not the domain name. Okay, so the, on Kali Linux, we have these three main tools. If you go under information gathering and then you go to DNS analysis, you'll see that there's three main tools that can be used for DNS analysis. We have DNS enum, uh, DNS recon, and fierce. Um, I'll be ma mainly uh, giving a brief overview of uh, DNS enum. So I have a terminal open here. The first thing we'll do is we'll just see what options are available. We just type DNS enum and press enter. And you can see here there's uh, different options or arguments you can use with the command. One of the, the options we'll be using is to output the results to a file, an XML file. And you also have uh, options for uh, scraping the um, subdomains from Google using the dash s command. So we'll, we'll use those two. Now, in order to use the command, we'll type DNS enum. Then you have to uh, type in the domain that you, you're trying to, uh, to scan. I'll use uh, a site here, innotechtips.com. Press enter. And then we will see what information it's trying to get here. So the first thing you can see is that it returned the IP addresses for the for the host or for the site. This is the actual IP. It also returned the associated uh, name servers. These are the IPs and these are the, uh, the the names. What this can tell you is where the this domain is hosted. Well, there's other ways you can find this information, the other tools like uh, NS Lookup that you can use to get the same information. For instance, if I was to open my command prompt and do NS Lookup on inotechtips.com, it's returning the same IP address as what I got when I used uh, this uh, tool on uh, Kali Linux. You can use the same thing on say this down here, um, NS lookup on DNS on registrar-servers.com. Then it's giving us an, uh, an IP address, IPv4 address and uh, IPv6 address. But as you can see, the, the tool uh, that's on Kali Linux is also going to try and return any mail servers on that site through the MX records. So on this site, there's no mail records. I mean, there's no mail or web, web servers, so there's nothing returned. It also tries to do uh, zone transfers. So this is basically used to gain more information about that. Uh, site you can get like subdomains other services running like um, mail servers so in most cases they if the dns server is not misconfigured you're not going to get that information the another thing it will try to do is a brute force uh, scan on that site and it's using this here uh, dns.txt this is where the scripts are and these are the scripts that it's using to do the brute force after a while, it's going to return, for instance, it will return this, um, the subnet for that site or the subnet for the IP that we got. If you look at the IPs within that subnet, so this IP here 
198.71.189.51 is found within this subnet here. So there's other IP addresses here. And now it's trying to do a, a reverse lookup on those IP addresses. Now, since this is going to take a while, I'll stop the, the process here. Just do control C. And then I'll uh, go over another option, the, the options that we can use with this tool. Now, one of the options, like I said earlier, was to do a, a scraping on Google to try and find subdomains. And the command for that is to we run the same command, uh, enum, and then we will do dash s. Then you have to specify how many or how many subdomains. And then we can actually do an output using dash o. Now you can put the uh, the file to output it to the XML file. Then the, the name of the site. Now, when we try to do the scraping, what we're getting here is that saying that perhaps Google is blocking it, so it's not allowing it's not allowing that uh, that query. And then it's just doing the uh, the same thing that it did before. Now this is gonna take a while in order for it to generate the XML file based on the number of uh, IP addresses it has to do a reverse lookup on. So I'll go ahead and do a control C to stop it. Um, another option you have is if you don't wanna do the reverse lookup, you can run the same command and then you can do no uh, reverse. And this should be quicker because now it's not doing the, the reverse lookup. Now, once you it's done, if you wanted to look at your XML file, I should have one that I did earlier. You just go to the location of where you are running the, the, uh, the command from. So if I do ls-l, this is the file we just output it to, and that one didn't finish, so it's not going to have anything inside of it. This one here is the one I did earlier and should have something inside of it because I let it complete the process. So we'll go to Kali folder. It's the folder right here, test XML file. And this is the XML file. So as you can see, it's much cleaner. It's the same information, the host name, the host, uh, FQDN, uh, the DNS servers, so it's just much cleaner, but it's the same information. And you can also store this information uh, for, for later. So those are the uh, basic commands for DNS enum. The, the other two tools, um, the information that they return is pretty much the same. Uh, for instance, if you wanted to run the DNS recon com, uh, tool, you'll do DNS recon, do a dash D for the domain, then the domain name. And this is much quicker because it's not doing the uh, reverse lookup, but the information you're getting is pretty much the same. You're getting the error code here for inotechtips.com, the actual IP address, and here you have the uh, DNS servers, the IP addresses, and uh, it looks like uh, IPv6 and IPv4 IP addresses. So that's pretty much it. So I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks, bye.